Welcome to the Brass Hand Woodwind Shop. This is the second video in the slide trumpet series. In this video I'm going to start by straightening out the lead pipe and getting the dents out of it. This is a threaded lead pipe mandrel. It has a threaded end on it and you can screw these dent balls onto it and I'm going to use that to get the dents out of the lead pipe. This lead pipe is bent you can see it if I hold it up to the camera that way. This lead pipe needs to be straight and I need to get these dents out of it. There are several dents in there. This brace is broken but that's okay because I'm going to take that off anyway. I have the mandrel on the vise. I'm going to use that to push out the dents in the lead pipe. And when you're doing this job you can see where the mandrel is because there's a little, uh, little dot on the brass and as you pull in and out if you push down on it you can see the little dot appear and that's where the metal is being pushed up ever so slightly with the dent ball and that's how you know where the mandrel is when you are working on this and it's probably very hard to see in the camera you have to hold it up to the light just right to be able to see where that dent ball is I will try to show you what it looks like though. I'm going to try to get that dent out. So I'm going to try to find the dent ball. If you do not push hard, it does not leave marks, but you can just see where it is though. Okay, so it should be underneath the dent now. Oh no, I've gone a little too far. I, I could see it right there. So let's see, you need to get it under the dent. And this. But this one is a little harder to tell because it is not shiny. When the metal is shiny, it's easier to see where the dent ball is. Okay. Okay, I have the dent ball right underneath the dent, and I'm pushing fairly hard. I'm trying not to push too hard, and make a mess out of the lead pipe, but I do want to get the dent out though. And now I'm going to try to get that one out. Okay. There's another smaller one right there. I don't know if you can see where the dent ball is as I'm doing this. I can see where it is, but I'm not sure how it's showing up in the video. Okay, got that dent out. A couple more right there. I got those ones. Now I need to work on straightening the lead pipe. You can tell that it's bent. The cornet is on the mandrel. I'm going to leave it on the mandrel and that will make sure that it does not bend too far when I try to straighten it out. And there are some compound bends here. It is bent down a little bit here. There's a pretty sharp bend here going that way. And then it turns and goes the other way right here. So I'm going to have to straighten this in several different directions. I'm going to start with this one right here. It bends at the receiver and it's only bent a little bit and it bends that way so I'm going to try to straighten that out okay now right here I have to go the other direction so I'm going to I'm pushing one way with one hand and the other way with the other. Okay. And now it's also bent that way. There, that bent easily enough. I got the lead pipe straightened out as good as I could. It's still not perfect though. Now I'm going to remove the lead pipe and the bell, and I think those are the only two parts I'm going to need from this cornet. This looks like a table leg, but it's actually used to hold the instruments while you work on them. So I'm going to put that in the vise and put the cornet onto there to hold it out in the open while I work on it. I'm going to remove this broken brace first and get that out of the way. So what I do is I heat that up to about 450 degrees and then the brace comes off. And while this is still hot, I'm going to uh, heat it and wipe it and that cleans up the solder 
When you do that, there's still a little bit of solder left. It's a very thin layer, and you can see it, but it's, it's a very thin layer. And then the other part of the broken brace is right here. I'm going to take that off, too. Okay, next, there's another brace right there that I'm heating up. And what I'm doing is, I'm put, there we go, I'm putting pressure on this, a little bit of pressure, so that as soon as that gets to temperature, it will pop off. And then I'm leaving it separated from the other part of the brace, because if, it, ouch, that was a little hot, but I'm okay. Um, if, if this touches before it, if this touches before the solder hardens, then it will just stick again. So that's why I left that off until it was hardened. And now I'm taking the lead pipe off of the tuning slide. There we go. There is the lead pipe. Now I'm going to remove the bell, and that's done pretty much the same way. Just heat up the solder joints to about 450 degrees. And as soon as that's heated up, it's going to snap off like that. Oh, snap. <laughs> wrong one snapped off. That's okay. I will take the brace off. Come on, get off of there. I think it's taking longer to heat up because I have the wooden mandrel right underneath there. Now I'm going to clean up the solder. And next I'm going to pull off the brace between the casing and the bell. There it goes. And just two left. Those two right there. And these two should come off at the same time. There it is. You might be wondering why I need a lead pipe for a slide trumpet because trombones do not have lead pipes, but trombones have something that's called a venturi. The venturi slides inside of the tubing and then it's soldered into place, so you can't see it, but it's inside the inner slide tube. The venturi is tapered. It starts out larger for the mouthpiece to go into, like that, and then it gets narrower, and then it gets larger again. So what I'm going to do on the slide trumpet is similar to that. I'm going to take this lead pipe and put it inside of this tubing, and then the cornet mouthpiece will go into that. This lead pipe will not fit into the tubing right now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to the lathe, and I'm going to turn down this lead pipe so that it will fit inside of here. I'm going to take my micrometer with me, and in the last video I showed you how I measured the bore size of the slide. And that bore was 452 thousandths of an inch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this on 452 thousandths of an inch right there. And I'm going to make this lead pipe that size. Here's my lathe. It's a little bench top lathe. And it works very well for what I need it for most of the time. I have this tool. I'm not sure what it's called, but it's in the tailstock and it's going to spin with the lead pipe. I'm going to put the lead pipe in there. The lathe is going to spin the lead pipe and this is going to spin right along with it. So I can work on this while this is chucked into the lathe. Since I'm going to be turning down the end of the receiver, I cannot chuck that into the lathe because then I will not be able to cut it. What I'm going to do is take a cornet mouthpiece and I'm going to get that stuck in there. Okay, that, oh, that did not get it stuck. I'll try that again. Okay, that is stuck, so that's not going to go anywhere now. And after I'm done, I'm just going to use my mouthpiece puller and pull this apart. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to chuck that into the lathe, and I need to make sure that this is lined up. Okay. And I'm going to tighten the tail stock so that does not come loose while I'm working on it. Okay, so I'll tighten up. Tighten up that, and then tighten up the tail stock. Okay, so that's in there pretty good now. So I should be able to cut this without it moving around. 
I'm using this tool to cut the receiver, and I am not an expert on lathes, so if anyone is an expert, they may be cringing at how I'm doing this. But this should work, and if no one gets hurt, then everything is good. That looks good. I think that will work. So I'm going to get my safety glasses. What I need to do now is cut this down to 452 thousandths. I'm going to turn on the lathe. And I'm going to cut that down. Okay, let's see how far I went. Oh, not nearly far enough. Let's see. I'm at, oh, a long way to go, about 516 thousandths. So I'm going to turn this forward and go over that again. I did some damage there. I think I'm going to need a new lead pipe. That really stinks that I destroyed this, but I did, so I'm going to put that one off to the side and look through my, my tubing box and see what I can find. I don't know if I have any cornet lead pipe, so here is a part of a cornet lead. No, that's actually not. Um, there is a cornet lead pipe, but it's it needs a receiver. I might be able to find a receiver. I'll put that one off to the side for now. Let's see if I have any more cornet lead pipes. Lots of stuff in here, but not too many cornet lead pipes though. Okay, well I guess I'm going to have to go with this and try to find a receiver for it. I have my mouthpiece puller and I'm going to pull that off. There it is. What happened is the tool dug in too far and then it grabbed it and bent it and then it broke. So, well, it happened. And that is why I wear my safety glasses when I use a lathe. A change of plans here. I'm taking off the old receiver and I'm going to put a new receiver on and use the same lead pipe. So. I'm in the midst of taking that off, and you, I'm peeling it off a little at a time because it will not just come off easily if you unsolder it. So I'm peeling it, and there's part of the old receiver, not in too great a shape. There, I got it all off. I got the lead pipe straightened out, and I'm going to put the receiver on here when I'm done. But I'm going to turn it down first, and well, we'll try it again and see what happens. I set up the lathe, I'm going to try this again. Let's see what, let's see what the size is. Let's say four, five, almost there. I got the lead pipe most of the way straightened out and the receiver is turned down so that it will fit inside of the tubing. And this part is filed down so that it will fit inside of the tubing too. And then the cornet mouthpiece will go inside of that and that will be the lead pipe and it will be inside of the tube, uh, which is the hand side. After I'm done cutting down the slide for the slide trumpet, I'm going to put this lead pipe inside of there. But that is for another video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more band instrument repair videos and look in the description below for links to related videos. Next week I'm going to take the hand slide and shorten it and turn it from a trombone hand slide into a slide trumpet hand slide.